It's such a couch. Rock your couch. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, today we have an update, a pretty cool update on Ruckus the Ruckus. Parts and, uh, if you guys haven't seen the video on how Indy uh, destroyed his Ruckus by torquing his variator, check it out I right didn't here. I torque the variator, I impacted it. Impacted the variator. Impacted. Torque your borks. Torque your borks. Torque your borks. Torque your borks. Um, so yeah, the Ruckus doesn't run right now. Yeah, uh, which you should have already. Technically which you should know, but if you don't, welcome to the channel. This is the Ruckus, it doesn't run. This is the Ruckus, it doesn't run, it's got some cool mods on it, but we've got some goodies over here. A lot of parts. And actually, uh, since the last time you would have seen this, with the headlight lowering, I have removed the fender. But you can see this nice spring wheel chill out here. I've removed the fender, I've bent this bracket down, I now have four range of motion, which isn't gonna matter because I'm gonna take all this apart. Scrambler life. It looks really cool. Yeah. So, I have um, some stacks of parts. Uh, I have ordered the um, the Ruck Shop sells a GY6 swap kit. Uh, at the time I bought it, it was like thirteen hundred dollars. Thanks for the free money, President. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for Ruckus Stimmy, Parts. <laughs> Stimmy swap. We gotta put a decal. Stimmy swap. <laughs> a, de a decal on the GY6. <laughs> it just says Stimmy Bot. <laughs> There's a Stimmy Swap. It's a Stimmy Swap. So, um, there are a couple extra things here that did not come in the Stimmy Swap. But uh, what the swap comes with is a harness in a bag. Kind of funny. Did it literally come in that bag? This is the bag it came in. Yeah, like it was just wrapped in this bag in the box. This guy was at a supermarket and threw the harness in there and just threw it in a box. Yeah, this is for um, Tucker. I don't know what that goes to. But it's a Tucker bag. Fantastic. I don't know. That's so weird. Yeah, I know. But it came in this bag. So that's the uh, ATR harness that uh, the Ruckshop sells. It does come with a couple extra pieces, like this rectifier and some ignition pieces that are hidden right here. So this basically is the harness that you will completely take out the factory harness. You will remove that all. You don't need any of it for the most part. It's very cool and you bolt this harness into it. Put that in there. The next couple pieces we have are the actual swap mount. Uh, this side mounts to the engine, this side mounts to a part of the frame, which you'll see once we do this. We have one more frame piece, and then the new coilover link, because you cannot reuse the stock spring, it all stretches out. If I remember right, this is like a six or eight inch stretch, I think. Not anything crazy. I've seen some people where they just like the entire motor sitting out of the bike. And um, it's not what we went after. Yeah, some people like it. Some people like it, that's fine. That's not what I'm going after. So we have all those pieces. It also came with a brand new carburetor in a bag. So brand new carburetor, ready to go on. Oh, actually I should mention. This also did come with the uh, carburetor riser. Now I don't know if this is the same piece as the clocking flange they sell, but I might need to get the clocking flange instead of this. But for the moment it comes with the riser. So I'll have to do some research on that. Adorable air filter. Pretty cute, right? <laughs> this right here is the uh, coil and the coil bracket. And then this Makuni fuel pump will also mount right here to the coil bracket. And this all sits uh, basically under, right behind the gas tank. The GY6 swap comes with a drum disc rear end. So this is the rear hub for the drum disc, or drum disc, drum hub. Um, I will not be using this. We are going to be doing, we are gonna be doing a rear disc brake conversion on this, so I will not be using this piece. Uh, the rear disc brake setup will come with a new one that's suited for that. But it does come with it in case you don't care about rear disc brakes. Um, which honestly, it is kind of a bit overkill because the front end is going to have a four piston front and the rear end is going to have a four piston rear, which is definitely overkill on a bike that weighs 100 pounds. Yeah. But also, I like those brakes. <laughs> they look cool. <laughs> so, 
It also came with the short axle. So when you get the, uh, the GY6, it has a long axle on it because it's obviously not meant for this bike technically. Um, so we have to swap in the rear axle. We also have to actually put a new gasket in it, which is in here. Aptly, I'm assuming that says gasket. Yeah, yeah. Gas like or mob? Gas or mob? It's like an autograph. Yeah. Looks Gasket. like it says Josh. <laughs> if your name is Josh, you wrote on that. Sorry. That is your autograph. It's just an autograph. Yeah. Maybe it is. Uh, the gasket is in there, though. I opened it and checked. So, yeah, so short axle, new gaskets. I did get a set of NCY uh, throttle, and it's a throttle tube, it's a needle bearing throttle tube, and grips. Uh, I actually really like the NCY grips, so I wanted something that would kind of accommodate. And they sell the fold mm. grip and. Hello. How are you doing, bird? Where is it? It's right over there. You. Do you like the ruckus too? You. <laughs> You're like talking about the grips, and he's like, I like those grips. <laughs> that is basically it. <laughs> have, you ever, have you ever seen a more adorable coilover wrench? No, that's pretty much the best one in the world. And there's two even. I don't know why you would need to. Well, you gotta lock one down while you tighten the other one, right? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. And one side, I'm assuming, is bigger. Uh, the kit does not come with the uh, rear shock you need. This is the NCY low down rear shock, which- The best rear shock absorber, just in case you- That should say one. ever there, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Available to adjust rear shock absorber height and spring elasticity. Ooh. Spring elasticity. Why does that look like? Why does that look like a replica of hard box? <laughs> it does. You know what I mean? That, like well, that like, looks like the it, kind of. But box. like, is is them? Grips Motorsports. Taiwan. Oh, that's that makes sense. Yeah, they're it, all. It, it does have a very like Taiwan style packaging. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, I, is, I, I, is, I get it. This now. is you struggling. It's, it's this very, is um, this is you being. Yeah. able to ride your, your roller skates very easily because you bought these grips as you put your roller skates on you no they, they, these types of packaging they're they're very reminiscent like you can tell when you get something from thailand you can tell when you get something yeah. from japan well and as you know like scooters in thailand and vietnam and something like that oh, they're, they're, they're big they're so, huge and, like taiwan like taiwan thailand indonesia yeah um, if you're getting scooter parts anywhere from there, you, anywhere you need to not yeah. travel on a scooter, you're getting you legit scooter. scooter parts if yeah. you're getting them from Indonesia, Thailand, or yeah. Taiwan. Yeah, that, and that's actually really true. So yeah. uh, it's kind of funny. So this is uh, NCY low down shock, really cool. And like I said, the coilover inch is short. Let's talk about that in a minute. This is the rear diffuser that will go behind the gas tank. Diffuser. Um, yeah, it's a diffuser. For when you're going 40 miles an hour. Hey, we're going to try to hit 70 on this. Oh, man. If you do the big four kit and so drag wrench with the Pentagon, I'll win. Yeah, if I'll throw just, I'll throw a stick if through that. Just never start. <laughs> <laughs> if my brakes get torched. <laughs> well, I mean that's already happened. So guess what, bud? My odds are looking good. These are the gas tank side steps. Uh, I will also be getting a gas tank cover and cap cover and things. This guy I thought was really cool. This is the front frame um, cover. Because if you look at the front frame of the ruckus here, which, there we go. You see it has a bunch of gaps and everything here. This piece will actually go in here. It's definitely got like a Cthulhu vibe. Yeah, this right piece now. will go in here and cover this all up. And make it look nice. Yeah. And since That's pretty cool. it's gonna be exposed, cause like, you know. Better aerodynamics too. Yeah, it looks I'm cool. Sure. Yeah, for which you definitely need for a ruckus. Oh, for sure. You got yeah. a diffuser. I do. What's the point of a diffuser if you're not gonna cover up that? That, that, outside the, that little parachute up front, basically. Yeah, that, that has the engine there, and like it's gonna go slower. Yeah. So you gotta use those to go fast. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. This is one of the coolest pieces. I don't know how limited they, they say these are limited. I don't know how limited, but also like I haven't really seen many others with them. And that came with the swap, or is that something else? No, this did not come with the swap. This is my adorable rear spoiler, which I love. Uh, this goes on the back frame. This is a Type R wing for a Ruckus? <laughs> kind of, yeah. It, it's more like a spoon wing, if we're fair. It, 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 it's is more like a, spoon. it is basically a spoon EK duck duck bill. Bill. Yeah. yeah. So it is a uh, wet carbon on the top and like really cool dry EK carbon. Here. I love that. I love that it's dry carbon That's on the so bottom. Cool. It really is, right? Uh, this was kind of dumb, but like I really wanted it ever since I saw that I could get a little spoiler for the record. Can you mount it yet? Or is I it... can like line it vaguely up. So if we kind of step past all the good stuff. Yeah. So it's going to go right against the frame here. 
And like, that's gonna be sick. Sweet. And I'm gonna try to mount my R6 taillight, which I have in here, which I'll just, uh, eventually pop that on. There it is. So I'm gonna try to mount this R6 taillight, like, yeah. Underneath that, then that'll be pretty cool. Yeah, pretty cool. We'll see if we can. It's kind of thin, so I don't know if we'll be able to get a screw into it, you know? I don't want to drill through it completely. But a uh, really cool little wing. I think this is like the second most expensive part I bought. Next to like the full swap. How much was that? It's like 200 bucks. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and that's why you don't see many people with it, because who's going to spend $200 on a little... This guy. Maybe. This guy will yeah. spend two hundred dollars. If you make cool on a little wings, duck bill for a ruckus. Yeah, well, of course. Tell me it's not cool. Go ahead. No, it's really cool. Don't tell me it's not worth two hundred dollars because you're probably right. But like, <laughs> but it's we've cool. got enough stuff in this garage that proves that he's just gonna buy what he wants. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's very true. I think we've, I think we figured this out. You guys can Don't act like this is all see mine. the Panigale so peeping over there. Some of it's yours. Some of it is mine. Those are mine. But everything else is his. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You got a lot of crap. All right. It's not crap. It's all fantastic. No, it's not crap. By crap, I mean. You mean stuff. <laughs> I can't. I can't come up with an acronym book enough. So, crap. But and it's finally, like we have this big box. Oh. I didn't even like, I'm like ready to outro the video. No, I'm dude, like, we're not done. We we're haven't even this. gotten into the swap. The, well, the, the stimmy swap. This is the main part of the stimmy swap. Stimmy swap. This, if it'll come out, there we go. Bam. This is a long case GY6, 150cc. Um, this is going in the ruckus. Do you see what I'm saying? Look how huge this is. I mean. This CVT case is as big as that entire engine. Like lengthwise. I'm not surprised. I kind of am. Like, I didn't really have that kind of expectation because I haven't actually seen in person another Ruckus with a, a GY6 swap because I don't go anywhere and I sit at home and just do my own thing. Yeah, we got to um, go hit up my buddy. Oh, right, you have a friend with one, right? Yeah, he's got a GY6. Yeah, this is a lot bigger than I expected it to be, basically. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, it, it's very large. So um, that short axle on, which is right here, we'll have to take this out and put this short axle in here. Because if you didn't, I've actually seen someone recently as I've been looking for a ruckus for Vanessa. Uh, I saw someone who had the long axle still in it and they just have this big axle sticking through the wheel. That's wild. But like the nut is just here attached to nothing, but they put it on. Mm. Yeah. So um, you need the short axle. Don't, don't, don't be that guy. Um, that's a bad idea. But it has these adorable little rear drum brakes, which if you see, I didn't know that's how these ones worked. They have a little push out and the thing flies out. Oh, that's uh, how that works. Yeah. Naturally. Well, there's nothing to hold it back in place yeah. for the moment. But uh, regardless, we are going to get rid of it. We are going to get rid of this drum brake setup. We're going to put a disc brake rear on it. Uh, we will do that at the same time that we do the short axle mod because to put the rear disc brake in, you have to pull that all apart anyways. Because you got to drill a hole in here and some other spots for a bracket and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to do it twice. But this is it. This is the super unreliable 150cc that people put in references. You said super unreliable? Apparently. I think it's just people like, you know, the biggest issue I think it comes down to is, is when you don't like ride a ruckus or start it, everything kind of gets full of gunk. You know what I mean? Because when you look for one for sale, you'll find a lot of- A lot of the guys who do GY6 swaps aren't dailying their ruckuses. I'm funny. I don't well, think it's worth it. Because, you know, because the guys who are spending money on a GY6 swap have a lot of toys. Yeah. What's your point? But What's this point? guy will ride his ruckus. My work is seven miles. He will, because he doesn't stop talking about this damn thing. I don't actually. I constantly like text him and I'm just like, yeah. bro, ruckus. Like he talked about the RC51 when he got it from me for like a long time. And That's then sick. like- I love it. It's awesome, but it's I knew amazing. it was just gonna sit here and, and like look awesome in the garage. It's beautiful. And I'm totally okay with that. It's beautiful. Yeah. You can't say it's not. No, it's... I want to pop the other exhaust back on it. Yeah, I like... I personally like the I'm other exhaust I'm very indecisive, but like I swap back and forth all the time, you know? Oh, it's a good thing that it only takes 10 minutes. Yeah, it really does take a long time. Yeah. But, um, so yeah, this is the GY6. Um, I'm gonna put this in that and write it to work. Uh, I'm gonna completely ruin the functionality of having a ruckus because that's what this does. It's gonna be slammed, it's gonna be dumb, but it's gonna be awesome. But it's gonna be fun. I hope I can still make U-turns. It's gonna be slammed, it's gonna be dumb, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be full of 
something. Horse powers. <laughs> I, yeah. You know, there was a guy in, in one of the Ruggis groups uh, yesterday. Actually, I think I sent it to you. You know, that's a lot of money for to go slow. I'm like, you ride like a Metropolitan or like an Elite or something. It's still a scooter. It doesn't go fast. He's like, oh, I did a swap and I, I have... I went 103 on a on an old. Yeah, that I, that that game is tired to me. You know, like if I want to spend if I want to spend fifteen hundred dollars on a supercharger for a Yaris and only gain fifteen horsepower because it gets a cool wine. Which you kind of did. I didn't get the supercharger for the Yaris. No, uh, me about the intake. That was the cutest intake ever because the it actual sound it so cool. But it was like cool. this big. It was like it was like the drinking the, straw. It was, it was literally like this size. It sounded so. Like, cool, it was literally though. the size of this yeah. little scooter one. You know. But we digress. So that's uh, everything we've got so far for the Ruckus. Yeah, there is a lot more to order um, because, like I said, we will eventually be completely tearing this down to just the frame, sending stuff out for powder coat, and building it back up from nothing. Yeah. Um, so it's going to take a little bit of time, so you'll probably get a few kind of update vlogs on like parts that come in, things we get. And you'll see some stuff get installed that we can easily kind of take off and test fit and yeah. do the stuff. Let us know so, what you guys think. Do you like the GY6 swap? Do you think it's a waste of money? Would do you, you think buy it's unreliable? It? Yeah. Because like I said, I've heard this Do swap. you have an unreliable GY6 swap? We're very curious to see the reasons why. Yeah. But otherwise, let us know what you guys thought of the video in the comments down below. And if you liked the video, please make sure to like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and we'll see you in the next one. And we appreciate you guys.